all right man everything that uh i'm gonna talk about in this video is just a disclaimer that uh i don't have any evidence to back this up you have to do your own research i'm just gonna tell you my experiences and uh what i learned in the past 24 hours so if you want to take my advice then go for it if not uh, if you want to ignore it that by all means i'm not forcing anybody uh, i'm not pushing anybody's free will that's one of the things that i started to need to start at the beginning of all my videos that I, I don't like to change people's free will anyways without further ado we mentioned that uh bath and body works do not have in their bottles and uh, on the back of their boxes they don't have the volume of alcohol so and then i check one of the uh, females perfumes as well so ladies if you're watching don't be like oh this guy's only checking men's yeah i checked the uh, japanese you know what i like a thousand wishes it's actually one of my favorite um i even checked the bottle i own the physical copy of a uh, ocean and whiskey reserve and they don't have it in the box every box in the back they should have it um i think hopefully if um in the future they can provide the volume content of alcohol maybe i'll probably mention it to customer service so they can start uh, putting it on their boxes and labels because it's very very important and i'm going to talk to you about in a bit why it, it is important to have um and where's the perfume jesus i shampoo I mean, guess it's out of stock. All right, mist is different. I don't know if mist have alcohol. I'm not sure. I know uh, women spray a lot of mists, so I'm not sure if it has alcohol. But anything that has alcohol should be the same. Should be treated the same way. Um, room concentration sprays. Not necessarily you spray it, but if you spray it around your parameter it can cause some type of a uh, reaction so all right you know uh there's no all right this one is for female so japanese cherry blossom again they should have a picture on the back that says the volume of alcohol they show you the ingredients, right? But they don't show you the volume of alcohol. So I Googled it and uh, it says about 80 or 90%, but I can't confirm this. Honestly, feel like it's probably 90 or more. Uh, the higher the alcohol that uh, any fragrance that you're going to use, the more adverse side effects you're going to probably have, especially if you have sensitive skin. Now, the older you get, for some reason, like you've been spraying cologne perfume all your life and when you were in like younger 20s, teens, you had zero reaction. But as you get older, especially it starts hitting in your 30s and up, you start to get a little bit more uh, sensitive with uh, with all these um, alcohol and chemicals they spray. So just be advised that uh, I was going to show you guys some images, but uh, I don't want to because I don't know how YouTube is going to allow it so the disclaimer something image it's not anything big it's like if you get some rashes right here if you see in the TikTok, i'm not gonna click on this video for um, copyright purposes if you have one of the rashes on your wrist then that means you should not supposed to be spraying any alcohol or per uh, um alcohol based fragrances which is perfume or cologne uh, that means you're really sensitive. So to me, I started feeling some sting behind my ears. So I started feeling the first time uh, two to three weeks ago with Ocean. And then after that, um, last night, I started feeling with a whiskey reserve. I did spray and then it was really like burning my right side because sometimes it could be just one side, left side or right side. But this time it was on my right side, just only one time. And it stuck with me, the, the sting and the... Um, and the good thing is that when I checked, I didn't have any rashes, but I felt just a sting overall. I'm like, you know what? This is a sign that I'm not supposed to probably spray in the neck. So I did some research and just uh, searching on, on, on Google. Uh, I can't confirm this. I probably have to have more research on this. Is that uh, 
yeah, you, you're not supposed to spread on your neck and your chest, and there's reasons behind that. Um, most people spread on their uh, clothing. Um, some experts don't recommend because they, they say that a lot of these oils and stuff, because uh, they say oils when the fragrance is like what? If it's 90%, that means what? 5% is like ingredients, and then the other 5% is water. Like for uh, Bath and Body, 90% is alcohol, and then like probably 3% or 5% is ingredients, and then the rest is water, or probably very, very little ingredients. Now, the more less alcohol, the more ingredients it's going to have. It's going to have more notes of patchouli, lemon, grapefruit, uh, cedar wood. The list goes on. So on the back of any box of cologne or perfume, just check if it's his volume. There's going to be some letters. It's going to be 77. I've seen 80. I've seen 65. I've seen 75. Um, like I said, it, it ranges anywhere between uh, 50 and 90 on average. Now, if you're getting 90 and above, then uh, I would be careful. And any 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 cologne or perfume that has over 90, you should be very careful because that is very, very concentrated alcohol. And um, there's a lot of girls that buy a lot of these cheap perfumes for $20 or less. I'm not saying Bath the Body Works is cheap. I do like it, but uh, they do uh, really put a lot of uh, alcohol in it. And uh, most cheap perfumes and colognes, they put a lot of alcohol content in it. And um, you can have more sensitivity because uh, it burns, it stings, and um, you can actually have rashes. Uh, the other one is hives. And I don't know if there's, I think I'm pretty sure there's more side effects out there. Probably drowsiness. Um, I mean, dizziness. Uh, headaches. And there's other ones that I can think on top of my head. So... I did some digging, did some search that uh, if you spread your chest, you can actually get some uh, redness. I did have the redness in the past. I remember seeing it in the mirror. Now that I know it was caused by cologne, so that means I'm kind of sensitive. I'm not sensitive to the point that I can have hives or rashes, thankfully. Uh, but I do have some side effects from it. And um, I think I've seen a lot of older ladies in their 50s and uh, so forth that... Uh, they're usually like on their wedding and then they have some uh, some of their chest showing and they kind of have redness. Well, that's because they sp spray too much perfume. Um, so chest area, you don't want to spray neck area, especially the front area. It makes you age faster. A lot of these um, um, destroys a, a lot of the pigment on the skin and then a lot of the pigment oils from the neck. It starts to... Um, it connects with your face, so you can you start developing wrinkles. And now, I don't have evidence to back this up. I don't have proof. Disclaimer, this is just stuff that I read. I don't have proof of this. The only proof is that it stinged me. Uh, last night when I would uh, spray and uh, Bath & Body Works, they need to really start getting their uh, themselves uh, together and start putting on their volume behind their boxes how much uh, alcohol they have in their boxes because... They don't have it. And maybe it's going to take a video like this to actually, you know what? I need to actually put uh, how much content. Because if, if you're spraying something that's like less than 90 on your neck, you're more than likely kind of safe. But if it's 90 or more, and it's trust me, it has happened for more than one time. Happened with the ocean and now with the whiskey reserve. And I'm like, I kind of was ignoring it for a few times. And then after that, you know what? I need to really start. Uh, looking up into this and sure enough um, they was causing it and, and, and it's it, you can be you can probably say well it's too much alcohol or probably some allergens that they have inside uh, their body spray again very high concentration alcohol room sprays I used room sprays before like in the bathroom uh, after you do the you do your business um, you spray and then this uh, stuff is very, very concentrated. I don't remember the side effects that I got, but I remember talking to customer service after that. And I'm like, you know what? I'm never going to buy uh, room sprays before. And I was dumb enough, you know what? I'm going to start spraying this in the classrooms. And there's people that are that get really bad reactions from alcohol. So 
be very careful uh educate yourself that a lot of these stuff can be bad to other people so you gotta uh, educate yourself before you start uh, using it around other people rather than yourself and um, just be advised that uh, everybody thinks that uh, they're immune they're just oh it's liquid but no a lot of these liquids they have all these kinds of chemicals uh, we don't know what kind of effects they can have and they have very high concentration alcohol and a lot of the times these alcohol high concentrations they give us the effects so yeah, just do some Google. It says, yes, spraying uh, can cause redness and irritation of the skin. And that you should not spread on your neck and chest. Um, what other stuff that I was going to mention before I cut this video? There, I was seeing some video of a, of a lady actually moving from, from uh, perfumes to oils. And be advised that oils is probably just as bad, if not worse. Because oil is very, very concentrated, especially the ones that are like more than $10. So if you think that oils are going to be a good route to actually be an alternative to perfumes, then you're mistakenly wrong. Uh, they're probably going to burn your skin or do more rashes uh, than your perfume. Um, you got to dilute them. There's a website to dilute and you got to put on some rollers. You, it's, it's a really... It's a baggage to to, uh, uh, to to go the route of oils. I, I, I mean, I kind of don't like it because it can be a little bit messy as well, sticky. Uh, what kind of oils you want to use it for the dilution? I use coconut oil and it still feels sticky. I mean, uh, I think at one point I used vegetable oil, but vegetable oil is really bad. It causes cancer. I'm like, you got to be very careful and educate yourself um, that uh, some of these oils that uh, it meant for cooking can be bad, very bad for you. And you're going to use it on the daily. You're going to cause yourself cancers. That's why um, there's a lot of women that get more cancer than men because they do spray more shit on their skin or they put more shit on their skin. So just be advised that uh, be open-minded. A lot of this stuff uh, is ramping a lot of these cancers around the world now. And solid fragrances or solid cologne or solid perfumes i don't know if you've seen them on um, lately but they're really hard you just rub them around i'm gonna start using it but i'm gonna give a break and not putting anything on my neck for the coming weekend so starting next week i'll start applying stuff again and the only stuff that i'm gonna apply in my neck it's gonna be the solid cologne uh, just going to be around a little bit around. Um, just be advised with solid cologne. It can be damaging as well. Depending on what kind of ingredients. If you're going to use something citrusy. And a lot of these uh, solid colognes can be more natural. If you're going to use something citrusy like bergamot, lemon. Uh, what's the other one? Grapefruit. And the list goes on. It can actually burn you, so you just be very careful. Some of the spices, uh, fragrances as well, you gotta be careful. So your best bet is probably something, uh, something that's not of that origin. And uh, I, I, I like to smell different type of scents. There's nothing wrong with uh, layering. I don't understand why people demonize the layering, but again. You gotta be very careful and educate yourself. Don't spray stuff in your neck. And if you're gonna spray stuff in your neck, I'm not gonna stop you because that's the, what what a, a lot of people recommend to put. Be, even there's uh, people that uh, dedicate themselves to this and they have over a million subscribers on YouTube. Uh, they're always saying, oh, spray in your neck, spray in your neck. Um, it has to probably be something that's not too concentrated with alcohol. Uh, that's my best bet but again you gotta do whatever you want to do i'm not gonna change your opinion but just something to keep an eye on if you're gonna actually spray something with very strong alcohol and also on the mist whenever you actually spread it in the air or a little bit uh, further away sometimes with the mist if it's very hard concentrated alcohol it can make you uh irritate your eyes and chest and you can actually start coughing as well so i usually put some um some glasses and, um, and a mask whenever I have my uh, bottles and I spray multiple times on, on my bottle to fill them up for these uh, high concentrated 
Bath & Body Works uh, perfumes or colognes. So just something for you guys to keep an eye on. And uh, hopefully this is as informative for you. And hopefully Bath & Body Works can change their label in the back in the future. And uh, start telling people how much alcohol content they have in their products. Again, guys, take care. Have a good one. And again, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Take care, everybody. Peace.